Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV with your college football top 25 video for week four, Saturday, September the 24th. I'm going to look at the three biggest head to head top 25 matchups for this Saturday in college football. Also, going to give you two bonus games, two games that were just a bit outside from making the top 25, a couple top 30 teams that could play their way into the top 25 with upset home wins. I'll let you know if I think it happens or not in this free video in just a moment. Going to give you my power ratings for all the games, also my preferred sides, leans, and analysis coming up in just a moment. College football top 25, the biggest national TV games this weekend in Saturday college football. Quick reminder, my best bets have been red hot in college and pro football, 11 and 2, 85% the past two weekends, including the Monday night winners as well. 11 and 2 football run the last couple of weeks. It continues this Saturday and Sunday with some powerful best bets at wagertalk.com. If you missed out on this 11 and 2 football run the last couple of weeks, don't wait any longer. I've got an offer that's too good to pass up. Get $10 off any single pick or daily package right now with promo code Steve10. Steve 10 gets it done. Any single pick or even an all day, all access, any single day purchase, $10 off with promo code Steve 10. I'm doing this for a couple reasons. First of all, I want new buyers to take advantage of a nice discount to try out my best bets. But when you get one of my plays this weekend, you also get a substantial discount on the rest of the college and pro football season with a special promo code that's inside the game analysis only for my direct subscribers. You too can get it with a daily purchase and save $10 when you do so. Steve 10, any daily, pack, daily package through the weekend, including an all access, $10 off. Steve 10, wagertalk.com. Red hot 11 and 2 football run continues this weekend. All right, let's look at the three. There's three true top 25 head to head matchups this Saturday. Also, a couple games that just missed the cut. We're going to look at the three games in which we have top 25 opponents facing each other. We'll start at noon Eastern Saturday. Early game on ABC in the ACC, number five Clemson at number 21 Wake Forest. And this is a dangerous spot for Clemson. The odds makers have them as a seven point favor, but I think the line's a little bit too high. My power ratings favor Clemson by only five in this game. So it's seven or more. There is some line value with Wake Forest. You know, Clemson was a play on team for me coming into this season. I thought they were a little bit of a sleeper. Not even necessarily a sleeper. They were in the odds, you know, f top four, top five to be in the playoff, eight to one overall to win the title. And after a slow start last season, they finished last year playing as well as anybody in the country. But if you remember, one of the reasons they struggled early last year was an inconsistent offense. And they've played a very weak schedule of opponents so far. And although they've averaged 41 and a half points in their three wins, it hasn't been that impressive as they're averaging 6.1 yards per play against opponents that have allowed 6.1 on average this season. Meanwhile, Wake Forest 6.3 against teams that average six, allow 6.2. And Wake's played a slightly tougher schedule overall. So you can actually make an argument statistically that Wake Forest is the better offense in this game. Now where Clemson does have a nice edge is on the defensive side of the ball, or at least that's what you would think. But once again, they've played a weaker schedule and they've given up 4.7. Wake Forest has allowed just 4.6. So Wake Forest against a tougher schedule has better offensive and defensive numbers and we're getting them as a seven-point home dog. And once again, my power ratings show that line to be a little high as I make the line just five. So definite possible upset alert here in the ACC for Saturday. That goes early noon Eastern on ABC. Big game in the SEC at 3.30 Eastern on CBS Saturday afternoon. Number 20, Florida goes to number 11, Tennessee. And this is the biggest Tennessee has been favored over Florida in probably three decades here. Tennessee currently a 10.5-point home favorite. And on the surface, it might seem unusual for Florida to be getting this many points, but it's actually not high enough according to my power ratings. My power ratings actually favor Tennessee by 19 points in this game. So although this is an historically high spread, it is not high enough, and the value is with Tennessee. This line opened 9.5, and, and it went to 10.5 this week, um, but it still has not gone high enough. Also a tough scheduling spot for Florida. It's their first true road game of the season, their first road game of the season. They played three straight at home including tough games against Utah and Kentucky. And then they had South Florida, a narrow win. They have not looked good in their last two games. You know, after that last second win against Utah as a home dog, they lost outright as a six-point favorite to Kentucky. And they barely beat a bad South Florida team by three last week as a 23.5-point favorite. And that is one of the reasons why this line is climbing higher. And once again, I don't think it's high enough. My power ratings favor Tennessee by 19 points in this game. And they're an explosive offensive team, off to a 3-0 straight up an ATS start. And they've been putting points up in bundles. They've scored 59 or more in two of their three games. However, the only game against a good opponent was that narrow win at Pittsburgh, 34-27. 
Um, so Florida has played the much tougher schedule this year with those games against Utah and Kentucky. So we'll see if Tennessee is for real or not. Uh, my power ratings think they are. They favor them by 19 here. So there is some line value at minus 10 and a half on the Volunteers. Third true top 25 head-to-head -head matchup goes this Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN SEC Battle. Once again, we've got number 10 Arkansas at number 23 Texas A&M. Um, this line is held pretty steady from the opener. a and about a two-point favorite. And by the way, this game's on a neutral field, Cowboys Stadium in Irvington, Texas. Um, so I think both teams will travel well. Obviously, Arkansas will make the trip. Texas A&M will be well represented as well. Keep in mind, Jerry Jones, Cowboys owner, was a former coach. Uh, he has connections to Arkansas as well as Oklahoma and some other schools in that area. So I think that both teams will travel well here. And my power ratings favor Texas A&M in this game, minus five. Uh, once again, the line opened around minus one and a half, minus two, and that's where it's holding right now. A&M is only a two-point favorite, and I think that line is too short. I like Texas A&M in this game, and there is line value as well. Now, it's understandable why this price is cheap, because A&M had a really bad loss a couple weeks ago against Appalachian State. Uh, they were an 18 and a half point home favorite in that game. They lost outright 17-14. I mentioned last week right here in the video when we talked about the Miami-Texas A&M game that it's always a red flag for me when a team does not even score the point spread at home. And A&M did struggle offensively again last week, but they squeaked out the 17-9 win against Miami as a six and a half point favorite due to some strong defense and also a one nothing turnover edge. And that's going to be the key to this game is A&M's defense because Offensively this year, they have been below average. There's no question about it. And Arkansas is the better offensive team in this game. But Texas A&M holds a substantial defensive edge. Looks like one of the best defenses in the country this year. Giving up just 8.5 points a game and just 4 yards per play. Arkansas giving up 27 points a game and almost 6 yards per play. So while the Razorbacks do appear to have the better offense, A&M is a much better defense. And we get some line value on top of that. My power ratings make the true number 5. Currently, A&M is only a two-point favorite. I do like Texas A&M in this game on Saturday night. There are two other games that just missed the cut of being true top 25 matchups this Saturday. Both involve home underdogs and both involve road favorites that are ranked. And if either of these home dogs can pull an upset win, they will be top 25 teams next week when I do this video. I'm going to get to those two bonus games here in just a moment. But a quick reminder, once again, we are red hot in college and pro football, 11-2, 85% college and pro football run the last couple weeks and it continues with a powerful card this saturday and sunday in the nfl at wagertalk.com special promo code for all viewers get ten dollars off any daily purchase right now with promo code steve10 at wagertalk.com you can use that for any single play any three pack or the 39 dollars all access daily package which gets every best bet for football and baseball and get ten dollars off with promo code steve10 Here's why I'm doing it. Once again, I want you to get on board this 11-2 Red Hot football run. By the way, including baseball, 17-5 all sports as we headed into Friday. So we've been red hot in both baseball and football. So I want people to get on board with a daily package, take $10 off. And when you get a daily pick, you will have a special promo code inside that analysis to get the rest of the college and pro football season. Your choice for just $3.99. That's right. Huge discount on the rest of the college and pro football seasons. Just $3.99 each. That promo code is inside the analysis only for direct subscribers. You can do so by buying a daily pick package right now and save $10, Steve10, wagertalk.com. All right, once again, there are two games that just missed the cut just a bit outside from being true top 25 matchups, and both are in the Pac-12 on Saturday, in which we have ranked road favorites at unranked live home underdogs. If either can pull the upset, they will be ranked next week as they're receiving several votes right now and are both basically top 30 teams. Let's look at the first extra game here, and that goes at 4 o'clock Eastern on Fox, number 15, Oregon, at unranked Washington State. And uh, once again, if Washington State can pull this upset here, they will probably be ranked next week. Not sure that's going to happen, though. Uh, currently, Oregon's about a 6.5 point favorite. I do see some 7s out there. Line not high enough, though, as my power range actually favor the Ducks by 9 points in this game. So I don't think Washington State probably pulls the upset here. Um, they're a good team, good defensively especially. Uh, they had the nice win at Wisconsin a couple weeks ago as a 17-point dog. Followed it up without a letdown last week, 31-point win against Colorado State. Uh, Oregon, of course, got blasted by a really good Georgia team back 
in week one, 49-3. Uh, they have bounced back with two wins, including a 41-20 win against BYU. Uh, they played a much tougher schedule because of that, that Georgia game overall. And uh, they do have a better offensive numbers. But however, Washington State has substantially better defensive numbers. But once again, those are a bit skewed because Oregon got blown out by Georgia. Currently, Oregon a six and a half to seven point favorite. My power ratings make them a nine point favorite. So I don't think we're going to see the upset in this game. The other game goes late at 930 Eastern on Pac-12 Network Saturday night. Number seven, USC at unranked Oregon State. And this is a game which I think we could see the upset and we could have Oregon State cracking those top 25 rankings next week. You know, look, everyone likes USC this year as a little bit of a sleeper to make the college football playoff. And for that reason, USC has been running up the scores. They know they need to put some extra points on the table and impress the voters, the rankings, anything else, the computers, I guess. And that's what they've been doing so far. They've scored 41 points or more in all three games. They're a perfect 3-0 straight up in ATS. Um, but this will be a step up in class for them. Rice, Stanford, and Fresno, some decent teams there, um, especially Stanford and Fresno. Uh, but Oregon State is actually the best team Southern Cal has faced this season. And the Beavers are for real. They're also 3-0 straight up in ATS. And we do get some line value in this game. Current line opened around, uh, probably around, I guess, about 7 is what you could say. 6.5, 7. It's down to 5.5 in a lot of spots. And I agree with that move. Is My power ratings actually only favor USC by 2 points. So once again, Oregon State is definitely a live underdog in this game on Saturday night. And I think they match up well here as they have the offense to trade points with that explosive USC offense. So possible upset here of the two unranked teams that are home dogs. I think Oregon State has the better chance of pulling the upset. And my power ratings make them just a two-point dog. So there is some line value with them catching five and a half against USC. All right, those are two bonus games that just missed the cut of being two true top 25 matchups. The other three are the biggest games this weekend, top 25 head-to-head -head matchups. Hope you found this information useful. And if you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you've hit subscribe. We're over 102,000 subscribers now here on Wager Talk TV. Thank you to everybody that subscribed. If you haven't done so, take two seconds, hit that button for us. It goes a great way in helping keep all this content free right here on Wager Talk TV. And don't forget to hit the bell for instant alerts. My NFL Fade the Public video will be up here on Saturday. It's on an incredible 8-1 and one start the first two weeks, including a 6-0 and oh sweep last week fading the most public NFL plays. Now 8-1 and one the first two weeks. That NFL Fade the Public video will be ready Saturday right here on this channel. Hit the bell for an instant alert. And most importantly, leave me some comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the top 25 head-to-head -head matchups. Let me know which games you agree with or disagree. Let me know your best bets for college football this Saturday. Let's win together and cash in big. And don't forget, if you'd like to try my best bets that are on an 11 and 2, 85% best bet run the last two weeks in football, you can do so this weekend with a special promo code Steve10. Gets you $10 off any daily pick package right now at wagertalk.com and include it in the analysis of my best bets is a very special promo code that gets you the rest of the football season, college and or pro, for just $3.99. All that available, Steve Merrill wagertalk.com. Take advantage of it. Locked and loaded right now. Check back Saturday for your NFL Fade the Public video. Best of luck. Thanks for watching. Let's cash in big. I'll talk to you again soon right here on Wager Talk TV.